What's going on, everybody? Hopefully your week is going by quick. We're already Wednesday going into Thursday, so same day recording, same day video for once. The only reason is I had something come in the mail and I wanted to show everybody it and then do it with the video itself. So be on the lookout first, uh, either tomorrow or the latest Friday. Part 2 of the GMG uh, grading video is going to come out. Really good information into it. But I won't hit too much onto it right now. Just be on the lookout for it. I got to do a few things with the video, and then it'll be out for everybody to see. All right, so I had to run down to the UPS store today. Been waiting for this to come in. I didn't even know it was mailed off <laughs> until like two days after. So this comes in from Tops. Know a lot of people wanting to see what this looks like. There you guys go. That's the Griffey Trout 5 out of 10. I looked this over. Um, I, it's going to PSA tomorrow. Super Express. Beautiful card out of 10. Autos look really good on this too. I, I almost do want to grade the auto, but I don't want it to sit there for an extra week or two on to it. But hopefully being about a 100 point card, maybe we get that 10 on to it. I'm not sure, but we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, Worst case scenario is it's an 8, but I think it's either going to be a 9 or a 10 on to it. Depending on how they feel that day, maybe they wanted it as 10 so they could not take a picture of it and everything. I have no idea. Um, just look and see what it's... Oh, I thought it said congratulations. It just says consignment manifest. Huh. The top's like, congratulations, you finally pulled a big one from us. But beautiful card, beautiful card, I will say. Beautiful. Alright, let's go into what I wanted to do the video on now, everybody. Um, first off, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get up to 4K so we can do a nice giveaway for top four people. Uh, I lost where we're at. I think it's like just under 350 uh, more subscribers. So let people know uh, about the channel. We do all types of stuff out there between scammers, new companies, box openings. Um, got the monthly auctions. I mean, pretty much anything on topics that I see it's going to be interesting, I'm going to talk about on to here. But this here was something I've seen done, and it got a pretty good response overall, and I wanted to try to put this more into a video to see what everybody thinks. So right now, we know that the hobby in general um, has, since last year, just spiked immensely. With that being said, what I'm looking at as of current day, and is the hobby as a whole either one, on a slight decline, two, staying the same, you know, pretty much it's evened out now, three, starting to crash down hard, you know, going down in price, or four, you think it's getting hotter out there. Uh, what I like to do is see some responses in the video and read through our other people's, you know, insights because this is a good thing to really have is to, especially whether you're a new collector, old collector, you know, it, it doesn't matter. You're getting back into it. You get to see other people's opinion on what they're seeing from their region or area of the hobby. Because trust me, there's different regions out there that might be popping and some might be drying up out there. But I like to see what everybody's opinion is, you know, either... Is the hobby as a whole either on a slight decline, pretty much leveling out or staying the same? It's either starting to crash hard or getting, you know, crashing hard. Or it's getting, you know, hotter out there, you know. the it, People are starting to, you know, keep the spike alive and stuff like that. So, if you guys don't mind, pick one. And then just put it, you know, for example, um, the market's crashing hard. Uh, card values are going down. Take a look at eBay, blah, 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 stuff like that there. I, I'm curious to see what everybody else is seeing from their perspectives. I'll do a video this weekend with my response to what I've seen offhand. And CBC, you're not allowed to use what we talked about in the phone the other day. Yes, I am calling you out on to it because um, I, I don't want to see that answer because that was my general opinion offhand. <laughs> and I don't know, I know you're going to say, well, I agree with you, but no, 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 you're not allowed. You can still comment, but you can't use my reason, all right? Um... I want to see what a lot of different people are seeing with the hobby right now as a whole. We know box prices have gone up. They're starting to a little bit creep down. I'll give you that. Um, 
there, there's a bunch of different factors that go into play off of this, whether it's, you know, single cells, box cells, group breaks. And everybody's going to see it from a different perspective, whether you're a breaker, you're getting in breaks, you're buying, you're selling, you're trading, whatever it may be offhand. So just write down the comment section. I'm going to read through. I'll probably make a few comments on to it, but I'm going to come back with a response video of what I see offhand and my reason behind it as well. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it. Wish to Griffey and Trout luck. It's going Super Express, $300 out for it. Yes, I know it's a crazy price. But I want to add, before I forget, I knew there was something else. This card here only ran me $188. I got into a filler and won this. Um, price value on it's going to be a lot higher, of course. Submitted for grading three eighty eight plus or three hundred plus, uh, you know, shipping there and back insurance. So I'll probably have like six hundred bucks invested in the card. Way, way, way worth more than six hundred dollars in fold. But I'd rather have it graded because I don't know if I'm gonna honestly sell it, trade it, hold it. I'm not too sure to be honest with it. Beautiful card though. I was a fan of Ken Griffey Jr. when I was younger. Um, I, I I'm just sitting here staring at it now, and I just I like his autograph. I don't know what it is about. It's not like, you know, super sloppy, but it has a lot of the little circles and stuff into it just to make it a little more fancier and like you use some time and effort into it. But all right, everybody, enough of that. I'm out. We'll probably see this thing back in about 30 days, hopefully. We'll see what it grades out. Take care, have a good week, and I'll catch y'all on the GMG video. It'll be out next.